I went to my first ever race at Slinger Speedway, the world's fastest quarter mile oval, and it just so happened to be the 38th annual Nationals. Uh, it was 200 laps, and Ty Majeski was going to be there, so I had to go. I was there early. I was trying to get uh, Ty's autograph, and I ended up ended up doing that. But um, other NASCAR drivers that have raced here in the past include Davey Atlas and Bobby Ellis and Dale Earnhardt, Alan Kulwicki, uh, Mark Martin, Ted Musgrave, Butch Miller, Matt Kenseth, uh, Kyle Busch, uh, Eric Jones. Matt Kenseth pushed Eric Jones out the way to get the win here last year. So kind of crazy how Matt Kenseth is out all of a sudden at Joe Gibbs. Expectations were high and they were met. The track is wonderful. Uh, pit road to get on um, a pit pass was like 40 bucks. Not too bad. The shirts were kind of cheap. So it was pretty cool. So I start walking in and I notice one of our radio stations has a big old banner on the grandstands. That was pretty cool. Make sure you listen. So I went in there and I also started looking for Ty's hauler. So I figured I'd record a couple of these cars while I was making my way looking for them. And then boom, I ended up finding his hauler. Nothing fancy there. Um, and he's a very nice guy, kind of short. Um, but he looks like a typical NASCAR driver. You know, they kind of look like horse jockeys. And he also signed two uh, photos that I printed out. One is I racing. Um, you know, it's right there. The one on the right. And then the one on the left is the real car, the real deal that he raced at Iowa. Which he said he will be racing at Iowa again coming up here. So good luck to him. And um, not, he said in two weeks, so we'll see. But um, he did pretty decent in the race. Like he told me earlier, he had a rocket ship. And uh, too bad for some things that happened during the race. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have won. But right there's my uh, wristband slinger speedway for uh, it was for the pit pass. Here are some random photos. The bank in here is 33 degrees, which is steeper than Bristol Motor Speedway. Bristol's corners are between 26 to 30 degrees. And right back there is where all the drivers park. Pretty cool setup, but if you're back there um, watching from above that hill down, those billboards really take away your view. But there's the grandstands, a uh, lot of space for people to sit, and these grandstands were packed, I'm telling you. You'd have to be like, uh, let me through, please. But right there is Ty Majeski with his rocket ship. I racing going down. I, I just want to say it again. I was super happy to meet him. Um, another NASCAR hopeful that was there was Natalie Decker. She ended up not having enough speed to get into the Nationals race, though. Right here's one of the first shirts I bought. It was $12 and it's real basic, just Slinger Speedway. Real thin too. And this shirt right here cost $25. I wanted an XL, but they only had double XL. You got iRacing right there, Ty Majeski, hashtag 91. Here's a look at the back. It says three-time champ, Ty Majeski, uh, Arca Midwest Tour. I did see an Arca truck there yesterday. And yeah, he's got some different stats on there. Pretty cool. Um, really happy to meet him. I hope he makes it to NASCAR full time at some point. We'll see how he does. Make sure you order his diecast on lionel.com.
payback right away.